But, but, uh, but when was Have Hot starting that, give me the time. Around in, in high school, uh, I started going to shows in 1999. Um, and then I started that band in 2002. Um, we technically didn't put out anything until 2003, but yeah. I marked those that first year as like a part of our history because like no one in the band wanted to be in the band. No? It was just me, basically. Oh. No one believed in, in, in the project. <laughs> uh, our drum, partly because our drummer didn't know how to play drums, and I, who also don't know how to play drums, was uh, at our first few practices teaching him how to play drums. So it was a real blind leading the blind situation. Yeah. But I would have to lie to members to get them to go to practice. I'd be like, oh, hey, um, you know, Ryan came up with this like amazing riff. And are these are all neighborhood kids or not? Yeah, in the New Bedford. Okay. Uh, but they're area. not kids, that, the kids are in the hardcore scene or just young oh, neighborhood no, they're, kids? Oh, they're, no, they're in the hardcore scene. Oh, so yeah. they wanted to be in band. You weren't twisting their arms to be in a band. I kind of was. Yeah. Like, no one, like, I don't play an instrument, never, never did. Uh, I famously from my first band practice ever, like I went to the bathroom and like I came back down and all my friends decided who was gonna do what. And so, and they decided that I would sing. So then the next band came around, they're like, oh, well you sang in that last band, you should do that. And just came, came this thing. And so mm. by the time it was like, I wanted to play an instrument, I was like a little bit too old to suck in front of other people. Otherwise yeah. I'd have to play with like 14 year olds when I'm like 19. So I missed the boat. Singing is like, not important. I understand what you're talking about. <laughs> I got some questions for that too. Um, by the by, that first year of a, after a lot of lying and um, I think like just manipulation, we 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 played our first show in uh, on the Cape. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I got some questions for we you. We played about, our first show on the Cape too. No shit. Where? I think the Mill Hill Club. It's way. Is your it, father probably went is there. Is that up in like? Met, you met your mother there or something. <laughs> <laughs> is that up in like? Pete, where, where's the Mill Hill? Is it in Hyannis or something? Uh, once, that sounds kind of like I'm not a Cape guy, but uh, yeah, hyena well, sounds about right. Okay, <laughs> I so know. I wanted to. So it's the famous rock club. It was like if, it, in the Cape in like the late '70s, early '80s. I like guess the Mill Hill Club would be the. Okay, place. I think I saw the Freeze there when, when they did. Yeah, they put, they would have played there. Yeah, that's yeah. their place. Is that hyena? That makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cohasset is that the Cape? I don't even know. Cohasset is Cape. Okay, I know this because like my wife is 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 from the Cape, but. and I, I kind of wanted to. You know, there's been a curiosity growing up, and you know, the, the, there's a there's a great mythology, and I remember getting this is Boston, not LA, and thinking, yeah, like, and I remember getting it, being like, yeah, yeah, fuck LA, <laughs> and, and, and then and then like come to find out, like I was like, wait a minute, the fucking freeze is from the Cape, and and I, and I remember looking at the the list and the, of the bands on, I was like, decadence, you know, Jerry's. Trying to figure out who everyone wants. I'm like, where the fuck is SSD? Mm. Where, where, what do you mean? This is, this is a comp call. This is Boston, not LA, and SSD is not fucking on it. And the and it's it, it it's named after a song written by a fucking guy from the fucking Cape. So I just wanted to get your your take on that. You know, I don't. I think <laughs> I don't think about it much, but I th I have thought about it because I sometimes I think did did we make the right move not being on that comp? Did you decide not to? Oh, we, go we on it? they wanted us on it. Yeah. Oh no kidding. Yeah. yeah. And I said no. <laughs> I got, oh. yeah, simple as that. But but I do, you know, and I like I know it sold a lot of records. I believe I don't even know. Yeah, it's, and I think it was iconic. an, you know, comps. I think I, we were talking about this before. But I think uh, comp, you know, sometimes it's a good introduction to yeah. bands, right? So, you know, I base we basically said no, we don't want that introduction to a million people, you know, whatever. A bunch yeah. of people, not a million, but you know, you know what I'm saying. We, you know, and uh, I still I can live with that decision today. But <laughs> you know, I do think like, hey, maybe I made the wrong move. But, I think uh, you made the right move. You got, yeah. you know, like members of the Beastie Boys rocking your, rocking yeah, your gear, yeah. So. But I mean, they, maybe it would have been better if we were on that. And I don't like. I don't know if people, you know, I don't think people took it like me with like, yeah, we like this band because they're on the Boston, you know, yeah. Not LA album, you know. So I don't think it was that divisive as maybe I thought it should have been. How, how old were you when that came out? Uh, the Boston, I think yeah. in '81 that would have came yeah. out, right? Maybe that sounds no? about right. Yeah. So I was 20. Okay. Yeah. I was born in 61. This is like such a, um, I, I'm, I'm so thrilled right. to be doing this. Oh, you like, like, you like how I said no? Yeah, it's just <laughs> fucking great, man. Okay. Was, but more so like, so Cut like. Cut my throat or something, you know? <laughs> <laughs> no, like, so just, there's so much like, you know, like lore. And, and the thing with like lore is that some of it's mythology, some of it's, you know, some of it's memory, some of it's yeah. history. And yeah. so for me, like just posing all these questions, it's really, 
and you know, like I, I'm glad the viewers might you know get something out of it. But I, I'm taking a very personal uh, curiosity of interest because I, I, I've always like you know that we made shirts that said we as in like the you know the 21st century hardcore scene. There were yep. shirts that said what would Al do. I so. did see it. And I, I tell you, those little things over the years, especially because you know, I've had some health issues, you know, definitely get me to laugh a little bit. Yeah. You know? And <laughs> laughter is really what keeps me going right now. You oh, know? good. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, I'm in such a, I'm in such a bad place. Yeah, it's I the see. only thing. And I have to laugh at my, you know, I'm going off topic, but I have to laugh at my situation. Uh -huh. And that's yeah. how I get through the day yeah. by laughing at like, you know, the absurdity of what's happening right now, you know? Well, like, uh, you know, if it, if it comes. If so those, those, I won't encourage that. <laughs> those things, I like that. You know, there was some guy that made a, you know, the, I made some air freshness recently. Uh, <laughs> oh, I'm sick, but I made some air, but there was someone that made, I only get the idea because someone made this air freshener maybe like in the last 10 years. And it was an air fresher of me jumping in here with something, you know, some stupid, you it's know. Icon it's iconic photos, so, <laughs> but like. It's fun. It's, it's absurdity of it. It's so funny. I, and it, I like absurd, you know, because I wrote the song, How Much I Can You Take, you know. Uh, you got to get, you got to be. I, I got questions on that. I, I, <laughs> you got to be into like, a, you have a little absurd, you know. Oh, love it. Again, a lot of people like, a lot of people don't understand because I, I, you know, I hide it well, my, my humor, you know, but I have a humor side that's really there, you know, because I did write the song, How Much I, you know, yeah. like, I mean. But I, you know, I say it with a straight face, you know? Like, I'm the guy at the strip joint when the, when the strippers always go, will you smile? <laughs> you know, I'll, I'll, I'll have the jokes, but I'm not going to smile, really, you know? Uh, so I will, yeah, I'll, I'll shift to how much art, because I got a question on that. Yeah, I'm sorry to jump the gun, but... No, 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 no. It was, the, it was that... It was, I want to cut this all up, but I wanted... To, that, that, that shirt was meaningful to me. That's really... Oh, that's great to hear. Yeah. It was like... Well, on that topic... I, it, like the shirt was just made just because like you know because uh, no one knows what, what I'm gonna say I don't know well like you you like I can speak for like my understanding of just being a part of like the, the Boston scene the Massachusetts scene and even like the American hardcore scene like it, you, you, you've developed a, like a mythological yeah. uh, <laughs> kind of like really kind of founding father mm. early disciple ben Franklin, ben. like, like it, it's it's in there and so like but the, like in, in a really positive way because like i don't know i was talking about this um you know, we're gonna this. stop you right now because when you say that I, I don't know you know this is a big reveal you know like so <laughs> but you say that thing and, and i'm not saying that i i say, i sought fame when mm -hmm. i started this thing but i definitely sought uh direction let's say you know like yeah. it wasn't like dumb luck you know kind of stuff yeah you know? yeah, yeah it was yeah. like a plan that's the best way i can put it so yeah. i don't know if that's like bad you know uh, but it wasn't no. like I wasn't like oh I want to be famous. It was like it was like I saw some things. I'm like yeah, okay, you know. So I, it was I, a know plan, exact, you know. I know That's exactly what you're that. saying. It's part yeah. like what I've sort of sort of sensed, and I, I I do think that like just in my general take of it, like you know, people who can have a sense of themselves and see uh, what I what I t tell my students. I'm a history teacher. Yeah. The historicity of the moment. Who can sense that there's something. Uh, th there's there's a potential for like a real uh, break from the continuity of things into like a, a change and I like you know hearing you say like you know it wasn't that you were seeking out to be famous but like you had a sense. I don't of think direction. I am famous. I'm just when you, you said like, that thing about <laughs> it's like it's uh, would you say founding or whatever you call it. Well, it, I don't mean like I didn't say hey I'm gonna be a founding something no, no, you know? no. whatever. I don't mean that way. I just yeah. meant that that I did when I said I go well this is the way I think you know to do this thing. And so this is the way I'm going to go. But I mean, I didn't know it was going to go and whatever, you know. Yeah. Right? And even, and, and it's, it's kind of remarkable to me to like even hear you say that like you actively chose to not be on the Boston Not LA Con because for We some, actively chose not to play clubs either. You know, like we, like, you know, that's, a, that's another big thing is that of why I maybe pulled out of the scene, you know, like early on, you know, we could have tried to play the Rat or something like that. Yeah. You know, we poked a little bit uh -huh. just to see, not, not to like play, but uh, to kind of, fuck shit up kind of thing like yeah, we yeah. played the rat once it was a riot you know but that's like the only time we played a club and we didn't play it really on we you know we said you know we got to like sells by starlight big phoenix thing out of yeah. that thing which was really a important thing to kind of spread the controversy a little bit you uh -huh. know but there, you know being a riot which you could have predicted probably and uh you know we we it was like a reluctant for me to do that but i kind of knew what might happen in fact i i remember going into it i was thinking I should bring like armed guards maybe with me, you know, like, <laughs> I don't know where this could go. You know what I was thinking? This is before the thing. I didn't even, I just said, I, I got to bring protection here or something. I don't know what's going to happen. Sure enough, fucking riot breaks out. I think two of the guys, two guys in the crew 
got the heads broken up and everything, and then his big soul, you know. Um, but what was a roundabout way is that uh, uh, I, saw it, I saw it not in the clubs. You know, that was my, that's, I didn't see it in the clubs. Yeah, and I don't think many people, um, you know, I wonder. There's a lot of things I wonder over time because I don't, I, don't, I don't know if all the other bands saw it that way. Mm-hmm. And I don't know if I, like, f- uh, ruined their time maybe necessarily because certainly when I exited, they all jumped into the clubs, you know. As soon as I went yeah. away, it's like run to the rat kind of uh, thing, you know. Really? So, huh. Yeah, oh, yeah. Like, see, so you, I don't, well, you can't actually, um, I had already decided one more band and exited by the time you were in Have Hot, but, um, so. Uh, this Gage? Yeah. Yeah. But I'm just saying, like, uh, I mean, I kind of lived one more snapshot of Boston club, club scene or whatever, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I had the, like, pre-SSD club scene snapshot and that's like, I, I call it art music really you want to say how much i can take it's really about the music that i listen to okay yeah, yeah. That, i call it art music yeah. okay it's a broad term but it's largely based on the music i heard so then then i had the ssd period the post ssd period where i was the old guy in the occasionally in the back looking around not wanting to be discovered you know yeah. and looking around and leaving you know but because uh, i didn't want to be like that old guy without a band in the back yeah. of the room huh. Yeah. You know, maybe people would say, oh, he probably wishes he was in a band again, you know, something. So I, I kind of, like, had to be selective and, you know, sneak into, like, the Warp Tour and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Walk around, like, you know, no one knows, you know, in my own little thing. But trying to keep an eye on things, you know, and yeah. um, I don't even know where I'm fucking going with this thing now. How do I get to the fucking Warp Tour? <laughs> <laughs> Cut. Okay. <laughs> When I was growing up, one of my biggest frustration, frustration was I couldn't see like ACDC who played the Paradise, yeah. 21 Plus, things mm-hmm. like that. You know, there was like really critical shows. I'm like, I can't, I just can't go, you know? Yeah, and yeah, I thought yeah. that was like, number one, I thought it was stupid for ACDC or whatever to be playing the Paradise and I can't go, you know? Yeah. And uh, I just didn't, I, you know, like, so you get that, like, you got like the big bands who would play the Orpheum and stuff, but then anything below that you were shut out to really, you yeah. know? Yeah. As a younger kid, shut out to, you can't see him, you know? So I was like, that's really stupid. So. You know, at the same time, you know, so I'm constantly, even before I started a band, I was thinking about where can we play? I was looking up Lynn places thinking, you know, I'm like, no, we're not going to be in like an Elks in Lynn or something. You know, there's no way I would have brought it to that level, you know. But I was like, I was like, no, it has to be in Boston. You know, so I'm looking around and, and really that's how we end up in the galleries because I was, scout, I was like going around Boston yeah. scouting for places. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, even when the, the, the idea was kind of maybe a little hatch. Know, had a little seed, you know, my idea of a hardcore scene or something, uh-huh. or something, something other than what the fuck was going on. Yeah. Let's just put it that way. Yeah, I don't yeah, even yeah. know what the fuck I was, just couldn't take what they was going yeah, on. Yeah. So I was scouting out these galleries and I'm like, yeah, you know, acoustic, they're terrible here and stuff. But, uh, can you? You know, so, <laughs> you know, but, so that's how I end up being in the galleries and away from, because uh, I scouted it out and I said, no, nah, I don't want to be there. And that has a big negative that goes along because number one, you go to these do it yourself. Sound system's not going to be as good as the club. Yeah. You know, so, so there's a lot of there's a lot of like, plus a lot of the band, you know, like the guys you form a band with, probably the allure of being in a band might be going to the club, right? Yeah. Hey, I'm playing playing the Paradise, not playing, you know, yeah. right? Yeah. So I'm taking that away from them. No right? one's really like woo, and you're like, yeah, I'm playing the Knights of Columbus. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so you know, I'm con- cool, and I am <laughs> conscious of that back then. Like, wow, I'm taking that away from these guys, right? Yeah. Okay. In a way, yeah. I am c- completely conscious of all these things in my. Very considerate. Little details that you wouldn't even think I'm <laughs> conscious of, right? Yeah. Like, a lot of details, okay? And I'm saying, well, we're going to just still go with it, you know, and see what they do. I don't know. Maybe, maybe Gang Green and Jerry's kids goes off on their own and, um, and uh, plays the rap. You yeah. know, I don't know what's going to happen. But, uh-huh. but, but I said, I'm going to play here, I'm going to play here. And those guys kind of came along in a way, uh-huh. you know? But I don't, I don't, I'm not saying they would have done that, by the way. So yeah, I don't want so you to say that. that. Gang- I don't know what they were going to do. You thought that gangrene would have been upset to, like, not play a club? That, that's, that's no, no, that's not what I'm saying. <laughs> I, 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 I wonder if gangrene was upset that they had to play the media workshop oh, okay. and not play a club. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, okay. So oh, I'm yeah, saying yeah, yeah. all the bands that were oh, playing okay. now. See, that's interesting. I, my impression what? of gangrene in that era Wanted was to that, play the clubs, that they right? Want, that, 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 well, no. My impression was what? that they didn't want to play clubs. Really? Just because they're, they're you know, they're, they're so fucking crazy and like, you know, like, and it, it kind of comes to you in terms of like this idea. I don't of, know like, if this comes to me because they all went a different way when I kind of got away, you know. So I, yeah. you know, I don't know what they really wanted. 
Yeah. Really. So, like, and I mean, this is, I don't even know why I'm talking about this, you know? Well, it starts but, with the, what would Al do? Uh, well, you, you are, you're right. That's why I'm talking about this. <laughs> Al would play, not, would say, you're fuck right. The clubs. But I, don't, I think about these things a lot. I think about them then, I think about them now. I still yeah. think about them. I think I fuck people's lives up. <laughs> I'm not joking. A lot of people say, oh, like Drew Stone, these other people, these fringe people. Uh, Dave Smalley, and they say, well, you know, I'm, I'm saying, man, I might have fucked this guy's life up. <laughs> I'm, I'm not exaggerating. Well, because you kept him in the club? And in, in, no, in, in because like they, a... they might have drawn on to like, some good things. Oh, yeah. Well, Fucking, I... I don't know. Dave Smalley, he certainly isn't turning out too good for me. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, I'm just, you know what I'm saying? Like, I really think, like, sometimes I... Why'd you ask that goddamn question about what would Al do with something? You know, because I think of these things like, I really think that I fucked these, you know, not Springer. He was headed down the bad road all along. I fucking might help that guy. <laughs> but <laughs> believe it or not. But I'm telling you, a lot of people, I think, like, um, you know, did I just hold it off for a little bit long? I think that's really what I'm trying to say is that, that you know, <laughs> the period that I was involved, maybe I just held off the inevitable. It was going to get to the rat anyway. Uh, one yeah. way or another. I just stalled it out for a couple of years, you know? Man, it, it's so, like, but to hear that playing the rat was, like, like almost, like, antithetical to the ethos of this early punk era. I'm stuck it, it, on that, It's crazy yeah. to me because my impression... <laughs> I mean, you know, uh, Wrench, uh, 10 yard fight, glory, fame, like is all rat, footage, footage of them playing the rat. Yeah. But it looked like a fucking squad. Like the, it looked like a terrible. Stop, you, you, did, you, you, did you ever go to the rat? I didn't. Know? So okay. I, like, I started one of shows in 99 then, right? and like, it looked like, cause even that, like, I guess it was like kind of, kind of cleaned up, but like the location of the rat and like. It's in the basement. Who wants I don't, number one, I don't like playing basements, you know? Yeah. I mean, we practice in the basement. I don't want to play a basement, you know? So, <laughs> well, you know, it's in the basement and it represented what we were trying to blow up, you know what I'm saying? So why would I go yeah. there? I mean, I tried to blow it up anymore. That's why we played there. We lit the fuse, blew it up, and we got, uh, people got killed. <laughs> but I mean, that was the point. The point, like, like literally, the point was to blow up when we started. It was to blow up the Boston music scene. That was the goal. Well, just like when I, when, like hearing you say we wanted to blow it up, I'm, I'm immediately kind of coming back to like, just like. Because I, I don't think it was like a kid's thing. You know what I'm saying? I, I really thought it was music like. Music scene was not for kids. No, yeah, yeah. No, you wanted no. it for kids. I want, number one, I, like I just told you about, like I wanted to, like number one, forget I just picked a band, one band. But there are probably mm -hmm. other bands that I was never going to access to, right? Yeah. Just because of that gap, right? You got the, you know, bands that play like the Orpheum Music Hall. Uh -huh. uh, what's that, like 2,000 seaters. And then under that, you're not going to really get a chance to see anything under that as you're a kid growing yeah, up, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's all about, you know, like even though I was 20 still, I still couldn't get, but I still kept on thinking about self unselfishly. Yeah. Because there's other kids behind me, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. like, why would I just continue with that whole line of thinking, you uh -huh, know? Uh -huh. I have to take a stand yeah. like an idiot, you know? <laughs> take a stand, and even if it costs us good shows or whatever, fuck it, you know? Yeah. Just not going to do it, not entertain it, not think about it, you know? Yeah. Eventually, I caved, like, like, the channel came up. So they did all ages shows. It's so amazing to hear that that's, like, a sellout move to play to play the channel, the rec. Because, like, in my understanding, those were, like, shitholes. Like, like, what do you mean, shitholes? Like the rad and, and, and the channel, like those, no, were, those I, weren't like bougie places in, in, in my understanding. No, no, they, whatever they, I don't know what they were, but that, that does, that's not where I was But thinking. even in your the eyes, rat, they were. The, one, the rat, you know, distinctions here, okay? Uh -huh. Channel had a good sound system, nice stage, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, big room so you could hide. You know, I don't like, you know, it wasn't like a down in the basement, okay? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So it wasn't a, you know, not, I wouldn't, I don't have anything against the channel, really. Well, it's you know? more so about the age thing. The, age, the, the age discrimination was like probably kind of like the seed of like, like annoyance and frustration for you in terms of like what you want well, to blow completely up. but i yeah. mean so i'm sure they were they were aware that there was a segment of boston that you know only we're going to play all ages shows yeah, you know yeah, yeah. so yeah. i mean it made a statement whether it was big enough but i'll tell you like a lot of the statements i make i don't give a fuck if anyone le reads it <laughs> anyone watches it or anyone even gives a fuck about it. i'm still going to make the statement you know what i'm saying yeah. i really don't care what other people think uh -huh. i'm going to do it and then my my thought was maybe someone will take the torch, the next torch. Yeah, that yeah, was yeah. completely my thinking, right down from straight edge to everything. It was mm -hmm. always thinking very small, you know? Yeah. Like, if I could affect one person, that was a home run for me, you know? Yeah, I, I, so, I just like... So I, the th all ages was a big push that, you know, if we could rally the, these people mm -hmm. around that maybe we could change it, you know? Yeah. I didn't mean change it like, oh yeah, uh, we play 3 p.m. on a Sunday all the time. That's like, that became like the... Uh, print that wasn't my idea uh -huh. my idea was like saturday eight o'clock yeah. all ages you know what i'm saying <laughs> yeah. yeah so yeah. it didn't really um, you know what yeah. you, know, you can see how it morphed 
the clubs eventually said, wait a minute, we can expand our business. It's like open up a, a you know, a restaurant opens up for breakfast all of a sudden. Yeah, they, yeah. they got a whole new market, right? Yeah. yeah so yeah, uh, yeah. maybe they could also, you know, think they're going to like eventually move them up to the big club, you know, the drinking yeah. age or something. You know, it was yeah. like maybe a market leader or something. <laughs> no, but they were doing it for business. They yeah. weren't doing it to help for just the hardcore like, scene out or anything, you know? It, like, right? I got to say, like, so like, it, this is reinvigorated in the, in, in the mantra of what would Al do? Uh, uh, yeah, perfectly honest. I, I, maybe maybe you hate that. And maybe no, I hate it now because I don't know what's going to come out on tape here. You know. <laughs> well, you know? that's interesting to think that. So, like, th- that's part of the, like the the lore, which is not mythology and actually history, because we used to just kind of joke, and be like, you know, like Al is Al is lurking in the shadows. He's the <laughs> dark the shadows, prince yeah. of hardcore. And and you actually were. I were the wolf tour. I was lurking in the wolf tour. I might just who knows. I I don't know. Like I, I saw a lot of things. Of course, didn't know who I was seeing half the time. You know, at yeah. the wolf tour and stuff. Yeah, you know, yeah, and, yeah. you know, I'm not gonna. Ask, you know, I might have asked someone, "Hey, who's this?" or something. You know, but but you know, that's the hardest thing. Even going into like a, I remember going to a church in Boston, seeing some bands. You know, like a, yeah. like the I like those underground shows. You know, so if, you know, yeah. like so if I got a fly I would go and sneak you know but I didn't no want shit. I didn't want to get seen like I'm lurking in the back but yeah, yeah, I'd yeah. go check it out just and I and you know I just was thinking this is their time now you know like and I the last thing I would want to do is be there affecting their time mm-hmm. you know it's not my time you know? well I forget when it was maybe it was 2010 maybe 2009 but there was like an attempted SSD reunion oh yeah 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 and, yeah. and uh <laughs> like, like I <laughs> I remember seeing. Did you read the? Uh, I think I did. Scroll, or whatever I called it. Uh, something that you wrote. I wrote it. Oh yeah. Yeah. I yeah, yeah, yeah. I, like I, I mean, I don't know what's. Uh, I'm gonna. If I put current. this in film, I'm saving this for my my SSD movie. I'll put it out here now because I don't think there's gonna be that. <laughs> but, but like, I was curious. Like, so there was an attempted SSD yeah. reunion. And yeah. I was like, and also well, I gotta, like, I gotta interrupt you. Do you mean the European room? There was like, okay. yeah, that's the okay. one I'm talking yeah, about. Because there was really no reunion. Just like he he had uh, presented something to the that's guy. That's why I call it attempted. Yeah. <laughs> I, you know, became, I became aware of it through uh, various sources, I guess, I don't yeah. know, that he was attempting, Springer, the singer of the band, was attempting to do some type of a tour in Europe, right? Yeah. And he had shows booked in London, I believe. I believe he had shows booked with that Mad Mark guy. I think that was a okay. major protagonist. So uh, I didn't know who Mad Mark was. And uh, in a sense, we've, you know, talked it out a little bit. But at the time, I called him up. And I was so bullshit. Yeah. I fucking I said, you fucking, you're yeah. an enable son of, I yeah. go, this guy is not the band. He's one guy. Yeah. And, yeah, you know, yeah, this, yeah. and this mad mock guy, you know, who's, since I, I learned that he seems to be a reasonable guy, maybe, I don't know. So that was it. So then it got even worse. Like, the next thing you know, uh, I call up the clubs in London. And I said, uh, you know, I called them up and said, uh, hey, you got this. I said, that show's not going to happen. There's gonna, you know, I didn't know. I won't tell you what I said. I go, that show will not happen, by the way. You know, yeah. call the German club. But I did all my reconnaissance yeah. work. <laughs> and uh, Well, I, I, I was I, like the thing that like stood out to me is that there was some I, and I think it might. I'm pretty sure it was you. Like we were all talking about yeah. it that like. At, like online, you, you had made this statement. Like, oh, yeah, that, so that's, yeah, back into the, so I wrote the scroll. The, the hitman came from the scroll. You know? Okay. The <laughs> scroll, and I wrote this thing, you know, don't believe that this is SSD, don't yeah. go do it, da da da. I, it's still out there. I read it, you know, I read it once a while. I don't read it all the time, but, yeah. you know, I wanted to see, you know, I don't really, uh, last time I read it, I haven't read it lately, it was okay, you know, yeah. I didn't mind, you know, but yeah. I think, you know, that was really at the beginning of the internet, you know, yeah. this is when you post on like a, Bored someplace yeah, or something. Yeah, 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 <laughs> there yeah. was no Facebook. There's none of that. So, you know, I don't. I don't even remember where I posted it. I posted somewhere. It did get around, you know. And I was like, you know, what the fuck? I don't care, you know. Yeah. But uh, you know, it did its job because he never showed up. And actually, yeah. that was the message to Mad Mock was number one: you don't know you. You don't know what you're dealing with here. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Whatever entity you deal with, you thought this guy was coming out here. Number one. He ain't gonna get in the plane. That was my final message to Mad Mock. I was like, he's not gonna get in that plane. Trust me. And it's not because of me. He's just not going to get on the plane. Yeah. Now, I did also on the, on the side told you all those things I did behind the scenes, uh-huh. but that's not why he didn't get on the plane. And I didn't stop the show. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, just yeah. saying that the fucking the side story behind it is really the side story. The hit man calling me, and it, you know, it was a real <laughs> yeah. actor, whatever it was. Yeah. Whether it was an actor trying to catch me or a real hit man, I don't know. You know. Yeah. Damn. Well, like we were, we had no idea about, uh, the, about the potential FBI involvement. <laughs> yeah. And but, my, my involvement as an undercover mole. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my, 
friends, though, we, we read that. And we were like, Jesus, he is the truth. Like, you know, like, like, like I said, That's Ukrainians the big question. and Russians we'll we'll together. We'll never know. You know? <laughs> we'll never know because, I mean, you know, like I do think of that sometimes. I wonder, you know, the whole, the progression, that jump we talked about, passing the torch, you know. I mean, you could go through the FSU years, you know. Mm -hmm. How about, during the, that was during the FBI thing thing too where they put that bo that bo I don't know if you know about the Boston beatdown video and yeah, all yeah I'm familiar yeah, yeah it was that a little bit yeah before I have to tread lightly <laughs> right but you know they put that video and it said that they something about me in the video or something that you know <laughs> and I was thinking the FBI is probably fucking watching this thing uh, now you know yeah, but yeah. but anyways it just you know that that progression of that thing you know whatever of it, the whole thing it has like uh, like there's just so many unintended consequences that are like it, it's remarkable how, how it works and so, I mean, anyways, I don't know how it would have turned. We don't even know how would, any of this would have turned out, but no, certainly, you, you know, the, what we learned today to review, you know, to recap, <laughs> it was intentional. You know, it was a direction. It wasn't, it wasn't random, you know? Yeah. My yeah. choices weren't random at all, you know? I, I, now, yeah. and I, you know, I, I feel bad some ways because, uh, you know, maybe it wasn't, you know, I don't think I went around the room and was democratic in every decision I made either, you know? So. No, <laughs> whatever, you know, I don't know, even them, I don't even know if they're upset at some of my decisions, you know, but we didn't play out that often, I didn't feel like we could even, I, this is another decision I made, I didn't think I could play like you guys could play, you know, I figured, I figured this was like a real short thing, you know, uh -huh. like, yeah. Well, so but, did we, like, we did? Like, like, no, but you we, toured, I didn't think I could even, we toured, we, we drove to California and played a show and drove home, you know, <laughs> that was my tour, you know, like, I didn't think, I didn't think I could get to California if I played there, I couldn't make, I would never get there if I played because something would happen, you know? Yeah. That yeah. was my thing. You know, that was my thinking. I'm not saying it was correct, you know? But Well, like... like limit. I, I was into limiting the exposure. You were into maximizing the exposure, But right? only because the roads were literally <laughs> paved. It was like, I got to see the fucking world because of it. I, yeah. it's, a direct, it's a direct tie. I mean, all those bands that have, you know, traveled all over, I have a lot of respect for people, you know, toured all over the place. I don't think I could have pulled it off. Well, we tried, we tried to wave the SSD flag as mm. much as we possibly could. I got a couple, like, uh, quick hitters. Yep. Um, so, uh, all right, there's some mythology I wanted to get to. Uh, the mythology I grew up listening to was the idea... Um, of uh, ripping cigarettes out of people's mouths at yeah. shows. Not sure. Myth, like, like myth or so, so every myth, every myth is a little bit of truth and a little okay. bit of embellishment. That's the best way yeah. I can answer it. Did it happen? We can we can use the same thing about the cigarette or the beer bottle. Like same yeah. story. Okay. Yeah. Not different. I mean, did 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 someone's cigarette get ripped out of the hand at one point? I'm sure it did. Right. Yeah. Multiple times, maybe multiple times. Was it like 100% like someone went across the room and, you know, had the, you know, gun on the purse, hey, and they ran out? I don't think it was that planned out, yeah. you know? Uh, well, I, I want to I, I thank... That conspiratorial, you know? Yeah. I wanted to thank you directly for what was uh, an entire experience in college of people going like, do you mind if I'm drinking right now? This weird thing yeah. that people like kind of like mainstream culture being familiar with straight edge, but knowing there's this kind of like, they might slap the beer out of my hand it made for an they were incredibly, thinking that you know? uh, they would literally say they would be like do you mind These, that i'm because doing they this? thought so much slap it off yeah and, and i was like oh that's fucking uh, like, that, like that's a person that was into hardcore just anyone <laughs> just anyone i'd be at like a party somehow yeah? i'd wind up at a oh. party uh you know I'd, unintended consequence then. yeah because i mean go. i did like you know here's my take on the straight edge thing because we should get this on, on oh, of uh, course, camera. Yeah. I don't think I've probably clarified this well, i also have a claim that i want to get to and maybe this yeah, works anyways just saying it's just my feeling okay so my thing on straight edge was, you know, I, I wasn't looking for like another set of like, hey, okay, I need to, you know, another like how I'm going to, you yeah. know, I don't really, I'm really not a rule guy, you know, uh -huh. at all. Yeah. Uh, so I wasn't, you know, that's what straight edge to me was I saw Henry Rollins. I went to see uh, Black Flag at Irving Plaza, like, I think it was uh, June of 81. Yeah. Okay. So I met Henry Rollins there. I, and I, <clears throat> best I know, I don't think we knew each other were going to be there at the same time. Okay. Yeah. And he told me, he, and I Is saw... He's he singing with Black Flag now? He had, he had not joined at that he's point. He's SOA But he was, within, yeah. uh, he was within months of joining Black okay. Flag. Yeah, Somewhere yeah. in that 81 he joined, okay? In fact, he was selling SOA records out of, the, out of, the, out of his car or whatever. Brought a box of XO records. But I, I met him first in the club before he was selling the records. 
and somehow we talked, and, I, and he told me that, he, you, know, he said, you know, I saw his people, and we were there with the Boston people, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. We had, like, maybe 10. He might have had 10 or 15. I don't know. Yeah. And he told me, he goes, yeah, we're all, we're all straight or something. He didn't, I don't think he said straight edge. He just said, I think I said, oh, you guys drinking or something like that? And he said, oh, no, we don't drink, something like that. Yeah, yeah, wasn't yeah. really, uh, wasn't real earth shattering. He wasn't, yeah. like, preaching to me anything. Yeah, I think yeah, I yeah. asked the question, he answered it. And I was like, really? He said, yeah, we don't, do, something like that, you know? And I was uh -huh. like, and I looked at his people, I'm like, really? You know? And it resonated with me. So, um, and what I saw at that immediate moment was this powerful thing that these guys weren't like, these guys were like cool. They look cool, right? Yeah, yeah, that helps. Yeah, it helped a lot, yeah. you know, because it, like it wasn't like, you know, the nerdy guys <laughs> telling me that they were, you know? Yeah. Because, you know, growing up in high school, this is the path that at least I thought there was, yeah. right? It was like, um, either you kind of on the weekends you go out in the woods and you, you know, get crazy or whatever, you yeah, might whatever, yeah. do what, or, you, you know, you stay, I don't know, you go to a church on Friday or Saturday night, so, I don't know, yeah. you know, like, those were the paths, there was nothing in between, yeah. so, you know, I didn't really like, you know, so I was like, right at that moment, I was like, <laughs> straight, I was like, wow, I looked at the imagery, you know, and, and I was like, this is powerful, you know, so yeah. I went, I really, at day four, I kind of said, I'm going to, spread that message and try to like, you know, so in a roundabout way, you know, uh, I always like to link images to like w slogans and words like kids will just say, you know, like, yeah, it, so like, I decided then I thought that was a great, you know, later on, I think then I found the, the straight edge song, but it was really seen Henry. And then I think because we teen bought, Idol, like we did bought, Teen well, Idols have any impact on I don't, you? I, did Teen Idols mention straight edge in their lyrics at all? Well, they, you know, the cover, they got the X's on their hands. Okay, so like, I might have, I don't know if I, I bought that Teenage uh, Idol single and the SOA that day. Yeah, on, this, like, I Drink Milk, I think, is on the Teen Idols 7. I, and, like, so they're, yeah. they're talking I don't know, about like, it, I'm trying to, it doesn't I, have I'm actually trying to review this and see in my head if I can sort this out and how it works. I definitely know the Rollins thing was really the biggest thing for me. But yeah. seeing what he portrayed as a bunch of people that what didn't really exist uh -huh. was a big moment for me. And so when I went home... I looked at straight as a choice. That's what I'm trying to get in around about. Well, I gotta ask You'll you see about all the, my I gotta lyrics. ask you about the choice. Yeah. Well, it's, it's all about, because I, I didn't look at it as like a set of rules, another thing. You know, because I read Ian's song, I was like, well, a lot of this stuff I don't even understand. You know, like it wasn't like what I was looking for, right? Yeah. It wasn't like I was, oh, I found this answer. I'm proud of the fact that that, this, that, that, that became part of, part of the uh, whatever, you know? That I thought, even at that, you know, I'm not saying that moment, but shortly thereafter, if not then, I was like, wow, wouldn't it be great if in high school, you know, and this was all about like geared towards like a high school thing, mm -hmm. I'm not thinking about the older people, mm -hmm. wasn't thinking about my brother and sister who were drinking, what I, nothing about that, it was just yeah. about my experience growing up, okay? Yeah. That if, when I became that age where I had to make decisions, if I had a choice to be straight edge, to be, you know, uh, the people that smoke pot, the people mm -hmm. that, you know, do coke, whatever. If I had that choice, then maybe that would be the choice I would have made then, okay? Yeah. That was my thinking. And I, all, and I thought at that time when I wrote like 10 straight edge songs on the first record uh -huh. that, you know, if, if one person gets this, one fucking, you know, because I didn't think, I didn't know how many records were going to sell. I didn't think anything. Yeah. But if one person gets it, gets a, po a positive message, not a big, you know, just gets anything out of it, yeah. then it would be worth it. You know, honestly, all my effort, if, that, if one person got something out of it, it would be worth it. And I also, and I thought back then, and maybe it will spread, you know? Yeah. And I, the first, like, maybe um, knowledge that something had gone in that direction was when I found out about Youth of Today, you know? I think there was straight edge bands. I'm not saying I was, you know, I'm just telling well, you what I did. Well, but I, my first checkpoint was when I heard, like, Youth of Today, I was like, wow, that's what I wanted to happen, happened, you know? And I don't want to be a manipulator master thing in a, <laughs> with a, like a, you know, a potion bottle here, planning it, but I did plan on it. I did hope that this happened, well, okay? Of course, yeah, there's nothing. Well, Ian, and I'm gonna say, Ian, he ran away from it, you know? And yep. for whatever reason, I don't know why, you know, we, we you know, talked about it a little bit, but whatever reason, I know his band wasn't really into it at all, you know, yep. the guys in the band, that was not a message they wanted to promote, you know? Yeah, yeah. And he ran away from it all those years. And, it, you know, it kind of bothered me. I think he should have been the real messenger, you know? He <laughs> well, ended up round about becoming a messenger because everyone keeps on fucking asking him about it, you know? Yeah, and yeah. now I think he's rounded about to talking about it more. But there was a period where he didn't want to talk about it at all, you know? And during that period, I was like, you know, I just, I didn't really, I, I used to think it was interesting. And it bothered me a little bit. But, you know, I understood where he's coming mm -hmm. from because, you know, he, he's... People are harassing him all the time, right? Well, he's the wrote this. He wrote the fucking song. Yeah, So yeah, he's yeah. gonna get the harassment. But 
you know, I felt that my job was to, I, I was the marketing guy behind the song. Well, I want to, that's what okay. I want to so talk that's about. Roundabout way, that's my answer, like, okay? So I got, th this, is, this is all fucking yeah. great stuff. And that's so, all marketing. <laughs> uh, well, well, so I, my, my, my best friend, Austin, he, he's in this band called Praise. He, he's in Have Heart. Uh, we were chatting last night. And he made this claim that I thought was super fascinating. He said that, um, you know, a good, interesting claim was that SSD was the, the first uh, straight edge band. Hmm. And, and, and we, were, we just got to talking about well, it. Well, hold on, what's a straight edge band? Because obviously the rumors about my band, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah. Now, so, and I, I'll tell you, I never, I wrote the lyrics and I wrote this, you know, yeah. love the music, but I never, I never went around the room and said, you can't, you do what, it right. just wasn't, you know, I set the exam. It's same thing about the scene. I, I just like set. I do my thing, right? Yeah. And hopefully people come along with it. But I'm not. Gonna, my job's not to babysit people, tell yeah, people yeah, what yeah, to yeah. do. So the folklore of all that stuff never happened as far as me telling them what to do. And the folklore of what they were doing behind the scenes, uh, I won't say I turned my back to it because I didn't. If I saw yeah. something, I would have confronted it. You know, yeah, yeah. that I didn't like. I mean, obviously, you know. But I heard things along the way that I didn't like. But I mean, what am I going to do? You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And for. For 40 fucking years, I heard those things, you know? <laughs> and it, it's probably one of the most, uh, you know, it's probably the worst thing about it is that, you know, getting phone calls. Hey, here Springer did. Hey, yeah. Springer, <laughs> fuck, Springer sold coke to, you know, Springer sold heroin to Courtney Love. Hey, Springer did a, <laughs> bought some coke. You know, it's just, why, why should I have to hear that shit, you yeah. know? So, well, well, what, well hold on. I, get some, yeah. I want to set the thing about straight edge. I don't know, if, you know, whatever. Straight edge band, I, that's, I didn't go around. I number one, I don't think we said we're a straight edge band. Like, yeah. put it in a frame. Yeah, but oh, yeah, yeah, I, totally. wrote, I would have banned the road talking about straight edge a lot. You know, that would be the way, you know? Yeah. Because, I mean, you know, I'm not going to put it to those guys, you know? I, I, I feel good that those guys, um, and I don't know how Youth of Today did it to me. I don't know what, the, you know, but to get five guys to think all like, you know, I don't know. You know, like, yeah. I'm, I wasn't into, like, fine, you know, number one, it'd be hard to find guys. I don't know if I'd want five guys who think like me. It'd be probably a fight all the time. I don't know. Yeah. You know? Uh, it, it doesn't sound like a healthy thing, that, but, but I mean, certainly a better chemist, you know, a great chemistry is good, right? Yeah. In a team. Yeah. And I don't know if you had it, but I mean, uh, yeah, what? I don't know what I'm fucking about. Yeah? Here's what my friend was saying. He was saying that prior to SSD. <laughs> what the fuck did I just say? No, I'm following, I'm following the line yeah? the whole, whole way through. Okay. His... And I think it's super interesting. I, I have a very complex take. I, I, I think I overthink about this stuff. And, and feel free to correct me if I'm yeah. wrong. But like, we were, we were talking about this for like, for forever. We were talking about like the cover. And like, and I think it's fascinating to, to, to like, to look at this, the yeah, decision yeah. that goes into, into this imagery. Like, what, it's, it's barely even subtext. Here. Lost its luster <laughs> since the 2020, uh, right? Well, well, oh, yeah. <laughs> Get attacked on that one. One huh? of my questions is, what yeah. happened when you guys got there? We voted. Uh, but, <laughs> oh, you voted. Yeah. Okay. Just, <laughs> um, but, like, there's, there's barely any subtext here. It, like, it, it's, like, it's just almost explicit. Yeah. Straight edge yeah. is a political <laughs> movement. Yes. I don't mean political and party, something, thing, but, like, it's about power, and, it, and it's creating a really, like, kind of, like, a, like a public known social concept but i don't see this really this iconography or this this imagery yeah i could be wrong yeah. anywhere on, on, on the historical record preceding you and it's such a it is such an explicit fucking like 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 message yeah but here's the thing I, like i was talking about this with um the drummer well, of Do you want to know how it came about, though? Or... Tell me okay. about it. Well, yeah, this, well, yeah well, sure. Like, and then I want to talk kids about Kids Rather Say, yeah. the song yeah, was for us, right? Yeah. When you think of Kids Rather Say, so what's, you know, have you say that that's, yeah. that okay. state house is a center of ideas, yeah, right? Of, of, of debate yeah. and everything like that, yeah. right? So, you know, well, we weren't coming, I never weren't coming to Oberth, you know, like the whole notion, like people saying, you know, like I think around the 2020 thing, overthrow the government. So you wrote the song before the... Like, you're, you're writing no, that song yeah. pre-existing the imagery. That makes wrote, sense. Yeah, okay. Wrote the song. I didn't really think about Because I was, I was about self-empowerment for kids, right? Yeah. I mean, you know, I'm 20. I'm at the cusp of battle, right, right on the yeah. edge, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I fondly remembered, like, the years, uh, you know, like, I'd say ninth grade on. Like, the, yeah, yeah, those yeah. are t tough years to grow it's up, terrible. right? From yeah, 9 to tw you know, 12th grade or whatever, you know? Yeah. So I remember, you know, I kept the, those ideas were in my head a lot, you know, writing yeah. these songs. Forced down your throat. I think about being in the woods drinking a can of Schlitz, right? Yeah. And I'm thinking, why the fuck am I drinking this? 
terrible tasting stuff, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah, I'd be yeah. like, it was insane to me. You know, I'm, I mean, I'm thinking of that when I'm in the woods. Uh -huh. Schlitz beer, it was just disgusting, you know? <laughs> and I was like, why am I doing this? And I used to think, like, why am I doing it, you know? Yeah. Why am I doing it? Because I don't want to be the fucking guy at the church on Friday, you know? Yeah, yeah you get two options. You get to be a fucking <laughs> lame ass in church or a drunk. You know what I'm saying? Like, because there were, <laughs> I only say this church thing. There was this, like, church, like, I'm not, I'm, like, Catholic, but there was, like, yeah, a, right. another kind I of think denomination. Like, I think and this, they, the state of Massachusetts mandates that we're Catholic. Okay. So. Probably. They would lure <laughs> people in with like field hockey on Friday nights, you know? <laughs> yeah. Say, and it was like, you know, so we went, played for Friday night, you know? So I was like, oh, I was like why the fuck are these people Friday night? They want me in their church. You know, they're probably trying to corrupt me, right? Yeah. To be yeah. in their church or something, whatever. Yeah. So when I say like, you know, did I want to play Friday night in a church? Yeah. Because that's what I did a few times, you know? Yeah. No, I don't want to be the fucking church guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so like, all right, so, so like. Okay, so that, we got there, right? It, it's. The thing is, it, it's a pretty stark, it has like, it has, and I say this cautiously. Yep. But it, it's this, right? It's this. Yes. It's, then it's to that. It's you know, kids. Yeah, it's working but up. It, like, it, Work up. Th there's a complexity to SSD, and I just think that uh, it, it's, it's, there's a lot more there than people think. Uh, and, and, and the imagery, like I was saying, it, it's got, you know, March on Rome, fascist party, Italy vibes. But simultaneously, I think the, the, the tagline is, is it, it's an... A, a, like, this is about democracy. This is about having a voice and representation. Democratic uh, values. Absolutely. Uh, and, and, and being kind of militant about the important need f to be represented. And I think that that is the kind of the flavor and the name of the game in the current way of, of like young people, especially. You yeah. know what was frustrating for me growing up? Because I, I, you know, I did some political stuff. I'm not a political guy. I don't yeah, pretend yeah, yeah, to be. Yeah, yeah. But I did work on political stuff before, uh, you know, in my, in my teens. Yeah, whatever, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. But, but uh, the fact that the, that the old people vote all the time, that's, you know, there's yeah. a lot to this here or something. Okay, you know? yeah, that's It's like the whole thing, like, you know, how, well, you how, can, how you politicians can it, gear their message to older people because yeah, yeah. older people vote. So, I mean, just, I, I thought uh, kids, uh, you know, kids, well, I don't want to be corny, but like kids <laughs> out of the future, right? right? <laughs> yeah. and very under, un, they're underrepresented. They're right? overlooked but, and, yeah. you know, they're... Um, that was the message I'm trying to say, right? It, they it, should be actually on the forefront. It shouldn't be the old people. Karen as oh, much, yeah. right? It comes fucking through here, like in, in a militant way, which I fucking loved. It was like, it's like, you know, we're here, there's, there, we're here for like uh, a moral, social good, but we're, we're not fucking pansies about it. You know, like we're, we're it's, we want our, our, our fucking like time to be heard. And, uh, and the thing It's to confrontational. Me, That's a bit like, it's confrontational. You know, I believe yeah, in, it's I believe in, uh, I believe in confrontation, like, you know, it's, it's throughout my whole life, okay? Yeah. Like, I, I, I secretly saw a review of me at GE, like, as an engineer, and it said, Al likes to uh, confront, something like, you know, Al, you know, basically word for word, but it was hard to read it, Con, you know, to yeah. read it where someone was actually attacking me, yeah. that Al likes to, you know, stir the pot, whatever the word was. Yeah. And I was like, man, it's kind of in work they're writing this about me, you know? Yeah. But it's true, you know, I mean, yeah, there's no Because right? I think, you know what, rather than beat around the bush, and that's whatever, you know, rather than kind of like, you know, just hem, whatever. It's, I'd rather just get, you know, just put it out on the table and let's figure it out. You know, yeah. like, I don't believe in dancing around the issue. So yeah. it's very supposed to be in your face, you know. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and it makes sense. The thing that, like, I was just chatting about this with the, the drummer of yep. this band, Chain of Strength, 80s, you know, straight edge. And, and like... They had SS, he had like SSD sweatpants uh, they were iconic to, to me and my friends. But like, um, you know, I was just, uh, he had mentioned, you know, like reading, uh, I think it was the uh, My Rules fanzine came out. And I think the, the, the choice, choice yeah, yeah. came in that. He's yep. reading in 83 or whatever. And he said from that point on, it was like, it, it was like, like, do or die, and like, like life was only about straight edge. And I remember reading it myself and, and thinking like, what the fuck am I reading here? Like, this is like, this, this feels like, like biblical in a sense. Was. Like, and, and, like, and I was like, holy shit, this is like, this feels like a real thing. But the message wasn't, it wasn't rules, it, right. was, it was reasons. But like, you know, like I mean, putting that I'm gonna on. tell you that when I wrote it, you know, I, I wrote it, you know, it was my, it was my, you know, I was constantly trying to like think of like how I could best explain what the straight edge meant, to, what the straight edge was to me. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I now so I, I, I like I wouldn't 
I mean, I get offered, I get a lot of times people ask me to do, you know, more interviews. I, and I did very few yeah. on purpose. I didn't really want to give away. To me, I, yeah. I don't, this is maybe selfish or whatever, but I didn't want to give away the answers to the test, okay? Yeah. To me, I really, you know, cryptically, the answers are all there and, and I, I've yeah. written all the answers down. Yeah. But I didn't want to make it so easy for people because yeah. number one, I, I'm not, I'm not a, a guy that wants, I'm not preaching to anyone, right? Mm-hmm. I'm just telling my story and promoting ideas that I think uh, are good, you know, good, good ideas or whatever, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, I wanted there to be a choice, so I promoted the hell out of that yeah. straight. I wanted that to exist on the landscape, the fact that it's in the culture or whatever, mm-hmm. people, mm-hmm. you know, I don't know, I haven't been in high school, but the fact that a kid might go to high school and he might see, oh, those guys are straight edge, that's exactly what I, that was yeah, the intent. Yeah. So I like that, you know? But that was always the plan. I, n- I never got into like the rules and that part of it. And, I, but I'll tell you, I'm more, I, I believe in it more than I've ever believed in it. You know, mm-hmm. the straight edge, the word, whatever. I believe that message. You know, I don't think kids need to be getting fucked up. You know, that's my opinion. Mm-hmm. I don't think I needed to be doing it at that point. Mm-hmm. But, you know, in hindsight now, being 60 years old later and seeing all the curveballs that life has thrown at me, mm-hmm. it's certainly, un, you know, I think, I think, you know, the one thing I'd like to put a little asterisk ne- next to it, even though I, I said I believe in it more than anything, is that I don't think you can just, you know, like, you know, put everyone in, the, in that same yeah. thing and yeah, say, yeah. you know, because, you know, what's, what is, you know, and I never tried to define, I think the earth crisis, maybe other people wanted to define, it. oh, it means this and that, mm-hmm. what, mm-hmm. hey, define it all you want. Yeah, I yeah, never yeah. got into those kind of things. Yeah. To me, it was strictly about just like really, uh, like just being real, you know, not, not needing to go get fucked up or something. Yeah. But now, you know, looking at life differently, I could see, I don't think age is really, you know, that's even worse to me to just say, well, young, you don't have to do that. Who knows? Some people live a different life than I've lived, you know? So mm-hmm. my perspective isn't probably uh, fair to, to judge everyone the same way. So, you know, yeah. whatever. It's, I think it's there for each person to take, and if they want it, take it and go with it, whatever. But I don't think it should be, uh, you know, it's, it isn't, it's not meant to be judgmental. It really isn't. Yeah. But, but you said the thing about militaristic. I, I it, you know, it was presented militaristically, and I didn't discourage that, you know what I'm saying? I well, wanted that because- Well, it's not so much militaristic, it's just like, it's, it's, it's confident, it is certain, and it's-, and it's and But it's, it's saying in your well, face. It's not, yeah, it's not like beating yeah. around the bush here, you know? Yeah. But I mean, I didn't talk about the rules or anything like that, you know? I just wanted to be, I simply wanted to be a choice, and that's what, yeah. Yeah, I think, and, and you, know, you know, that wording of the choice, I was just trying to say, uh, I think one example that I said in that choice thing, I said TSOL. When, you know, a lot of people, actually, believe it or not, were like anti TSOL at the time. You know, there was a lot of anti, and I don't even know why, but I just found it interesting that people were really bumming on TSOL. Now, I'm not from the West Coast, Joe probably can answer more, but you know, I just was kind of thinking, like, you know, what did they do to really get this real heavy reaction? So I just was saying, why do you really hate TSOL? Is it because you hated him and now I'm supposed to hate him too? Yeah. And then he hates him because I hate, you know, that's, that's how things. You know, yeah. that's not the kind of movement I want with, but yeah. you, you hate him because I hated him, you know? Hate him yourself, right? Yeah, yeah. But don't hate him because I hated him, you know? Yeah. That's all I was trying to say, you know what I'm saying? If you've got a choice, make it yours, but don't, don't follow me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Really, that, that's really what that choice means, it, right? It, it make was, it your own choice. Don't make it because, you know, don't make it because Ian said it either, you know yeah. what I'm saying? It's, that's not, yeah, what is yeah, that yeah. really doing, you know? It's, a, it, it's, it, it's it, another set of rules, right? Another religion, another whatever, you know? I'm not... I would, that'd be the last thing I want to do, you know? Yeah. In fact, I'm talking about straight edge is kind of even weird that 40 years later, you know? Uh, I think it's in American hardcore uh, that you were kind of explaining how, like, you 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 didn't really get the whole Boston LA concept because there was no Boston LA rivalry to begin with. Yeah, I don't know where, I don't know, you wrote, you know, that was another, you know, another, I mean, the first, re- I reject him right off the bat, but as you come out, that that's the title of the album, and I think it was leaked out to me before it yeah. came, I'm like, I would never want to be on that record, even more now. Yeah, That's yeah, a yeah. stupid title. Where are you coming from, you know? And, uh, you know, I liked those two guys in a way, but it was just dumb. I thought it was stupid, you know? Yeah, just absolutely, a- I didn't want anything to do with that title It's unbelievable. More. Like, you got a, you got a real uh, kind of but, but you also understand to- the Lakers Celtics thing was going on right there uh, at that period, okay? okay. Yeah, yeah, Definitely, yeah. Definitely, yeah. So, you know, did that, it had to get some of that. I don't know. Yeah. I don't do that getting anything. Okay, I gotta, like, this is probably the most, like, obvious, like, impact in, in my view of things, historically speaking. Like, like that the font is just, like, it's colored, like, 
almost all of like straight edge hardcore. Like why, why did you pick the SSD font? Like what, what, what was the impetus for there? Everything I do is bold, man. I can't, you know, like I actually think the name bold is the name, it should have been, that should have been the name of the band, bold. You know, you know the band called bold emerged I, out of that. Uh, what? There's a band called Bold. I know. It's, oh, yeah. it's like maybe next generation yeah, after yeah, us, right? Yeah, sure, I'm just yeah, saying after. that probably should have been the name of us because if you look at everything I do, it's just bold. And it's, yeah. you know, it's a negative, actually. Like, I wish I was more subtle, you know? Huh. I, everything I do is just like bold. <laughs> you know? I mean, it, it's, uh, it, it's, 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 it's it terrible. It speaks actually. to the nature of the whole band, truly. It was like a perfect aesthetic choice. So, you, all right, okay. Uh, but if you're, you know, if you're talking. I'll tell you a quick thing on the name thing, you know, like we, we came out the name, right? This, this is like terrible on a shirt, you know, like SSD control. So when huh. we made our first shirts, we made this shirt, we made SSD. So the SSD was like right there at the beginning. Yeah. A lot of people think we dropped it off, you know, they think we converted the uh, rock or something, whatever, like the thing. And yeah. that's not true. SSD was, you know, part of the name right from the very beginning for yeah. our first shirts. Our first shirts, we printed these, these, the S's actually fell off. So if you ever find a vintage shirt with like a, Half S off. That's like the original, you know. Oh no shit. But uh, okay. no, so yeah, it's just image, like you know, those three letters fit perfectly on the <laughs> on the breast of a. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Fair enough. Right. Uh, that's really behind it. Uh, the next Your name, how'd you like? That's yeah, a long name too. You must have to go on top of each other, right? What half heart? Yeah, like sideways. It would have been like big. Well, y. sideways it works. You just bend it. Uh, how? You just do more okay. Effects and graphic design, you know. <laughs> I'm um, saying those long names. You know, used to today, same thing. That would have been a long, too long for me. <laughs> did, you, did, you, did you think Mission of Burma sucked? No, I didn't. Did you think they were a hardcore band? No. Uh, okay, Why? this is great. Well, I asked because I think in 2022, mm -hmm. Mission of Burma, if they were like, so like sort of, they, they could navigate. Oh, you're they, a secret Mission of Burma fan, I can tell. I'm a public Mission of Burma fan. Oh, public a minute? I'm not, I, I, get, I have the first singles and all that stuff. But yeah, Did you like them? Yeah, but they were not banned, really. Come on. Yeah, nah. yeah. They were not banned. <laughs> nah. So, like, I'm going to get to how much are. That'll be my la right. where I go to last. But, like, um, well, what was, like, well, like, well, like, well, go, let's go back. You said Mission of Burma. Mission of Burma, like, you know, like, let's, like, we'll talk about offshoots of hardcore. And I don't know, I'm not well versed in this subject, yeah. but I did, you know, I know Ian. And, but when Fugazi came out, you got all the jaw bands, right? Mm -hmm. uh, the what bands? You know, jaw, something, jaw, this, jaw, box, jaw, jaw breaker. <laughs> I don't know. But like, like <laughs> this movement of hardcore went into that direction, yeah. okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, that was a strange shift, I thought, you know, for uh -huh. me, because I thought it shifted back to 1980 Boston almost, you know? I thought. It, it, I mean, it, like, in. It, it Do you has understand gone. the sound wise? I mean, yeah. I thought the sounds, all of a sudden, they were kind of going back to what I was running from. It, it has done this thing, like, you know, the DC definitely kind of sends it. Right to spring, right? Right to spring and embrace. Right. Uh, ignition. Like, I, I, I really l loved those bands, but I was like. But see, they're more Mission of Burma, I'm trying to say. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. They're literally down that gang of four Mission of Burma mm -hmm. kind of ilk, you know? Bass, well, heavy bass lines, right? Yeah. Not the bass. The bass is like the last thing I want to hear. You know, I'm, t I'm being serious. The, ba the bass's job is on the floor. You know, that's the bass's yeah. job. The yeah. bass's job isn't to be fucking heard. <laughs> that's my opinion. So that's Mission of Burma. Like, yeah. You can hear the bass, you know? It's, so, it, it's super fucking fascinating to me because what I was going to say is in 2022, because I, I play in this band called Fiddlehead now that like... Yeah, I heard it's a big band. It, 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 huh? Yeah, you know, yeah. It, it's, it's more on the side of, 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 of Burma yeah. and we even covered um, yeah. well, a Academy you're, Fight song. You're uh, like an elitist now. Well, that. It, well, that's the thing. Like, yeah. like, like, avant-garde. Like, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> Come like, on, you're avant-garde uh, hardcore. The, the, we, have, we have slightly talented musicians in, in the mix of things. Does that... No, let's stop you right there. Does, does this become you more proficient? You can play the bass, you can play like the fucking little strings. <laughs> Bing, bing, boing, bing, bing. <laughs> that means you're like avant-garde now. I, 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 I wouldn't. Well, but that's the thing, though. It's like in the in 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 my fucking veins, though, in the spirit. Yeah, that's hard. And so I've just sort of like, I was just thinking, like, I guess Mission of Burma is the closest <laughs> thing to be like. But like, there's no fucking way that like that the guys in the early '80s would be like, yeah, Burma's a hardcore band. But then I'm always nah. perplexed because the last Burma show. Was the, the like the famous negative effects like you know? We were fucking around to be truthful. That's, you know that, that <laughs> there's nothing more than we just fucking around. <laughs> yeah, okay. there was nothing there. Yeah, I mean like, this is just me. I'm but talking. Like, why were you playing that show? We didn't play. I mean, it. I mean why did negative effects? I play don't that know. Show? Ask them. I was there just to fucking 
act up and <laughs> destroy the place. It was, there was nothing more to it, no. I mean, I know yeah. those guys. I, I'm the, when I told you I had the phony IDs, I was going to see Mission of Burma. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'm, this is my opinion, and I could, you know, this is where we differ with different people. As a young kid, 20 years old, I don't think Mission of Burma is what I wanted to hear. That's all I'm saying, yeah, you know? Yeah, 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 it's just sure. not the, you know, oh, maybe now, want to hear maybe the 40-year-old guy, yeah. maybe the right to spring guy, yeah, I could see it. But, yeah. I'm, you know, I'm not the right to, you know, I'm not the Fugazi, I'm not the right, I'm yeah. the guy from Lynn. <laughs> <laughs> okay? Uh, all right, so. I got I'm consistent, that's to a fault, you know? Yeah, yeah. I never evolved to, to be the Fugazi guy. Yeah. I didn't, you know? I, I tried to blow up the Fugazi yeah. movement in the 80s. That was Mission of Burma. <laughs> <laughs> Why would I recircle the wagon? Um, all right, so I got uh, one last thing. So, like, uh, okay, so the, the, the last question, like, the thing about how much art, how much art is, like, one of your heaviest songs on yeah? kids. <laughs> okay. I, it's one of my all-time fucking favorites. I yep. remember hearing it, not getting it, when I was a kid. Um, but, like... I gotta ask, like, why did you think to write those lyrics? Like, to me, they're, they're so powerful, yeah. and, and it's a question. <laughs> yeah, uh, like, 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 I don't know. I, mean, I, can't, I, 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 I remember it, but I, you know, it really was. It was more of the reaction to the mute, less about the art, like the, the, you know, the whole. But yeah. yet, we were in the art gallery, so I'm not gonna say it wasn't part of yeah, it, right? Yeah, yeah. But, um, but it definitely was like it was. I mean, I don't want to put this on film, but it was like a statement to Mission of Burma, you know? Yeah, put it on film. <laughs> no, well, I, mean, well, was, I mean, I'm saying those, yeah. band, those were the bands that I thought, yeah. you know, and, and I don't think they I were, actually legitimately, that was my that was my. Yeah, and I don't think the kids, I don't think they were like, when I looked at them, I didn't think they were like, I didn't see any path to kids being Mission of Burma. Yeah, you know, yeah, that's yeah. what I'm trying to say. Yeah. You know, so where's the, where's the path for kids to play music? I just yeah. didn't see it. So to me, it was like this elite, you know, I don't know, elite, whatever. It's just something like it was a subculture of punk rock that it formed around this town. Yeah. And it was very click. It was a, Boston was very yeah. clicky. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I think they needed to be blown to shreds. And that's <laughs> what it was about. So how much that was that rallying? That was the rally. To rap- preserve a pathway for, chill, for, for young people. Maybe just young to people blow that- it up. I mean, everyone needs to be turned over every once in a while, you know? I mean, it needed, it needed a big turning over. I mean, there's a lot of, I can't even go into stories, like visualizations, I said, this, this thing needs to be turned over, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. And uh, so it was, it was, to me, it was, yeah, it, yeah, it was yeah, like yeah. an, it was my version of an anthem, but it was a, it was a really a rallying cry that people never even probably got, yeah. you know? Yeah, like, the, you know, probably the images of this gallery, how much I, you know, <laughs> is it really vague, you know? And I'm not saying, like I said, I like, I like quad, quad trondres, you know, I like, like a lot of double trondres, triple, whatever, yeah. I, as many I can throw at it. It was all of those, but it was more like the rallying cry of the Boston hockey or getting rid of all those other people, you know? Yeah. How much shot can you take, you know? I've had enough, basically, of saying. Well, I'll, I'll, leave, I'll, I'll, probably, yeah. I'll end on saying that, that like, I, I'm happy to report, not that I'm, like, going every fucking show. Right. I got my own kids at home, but, like, you know, it, nothing's ever perfect, but I, there's considerably more pathways and options for choices for, for young people, and I, I don't think that they would have been there w- w- without you. And that's my, that, that's my final, final. And that's, you know, if that's what happened, and I'm not saying it did, I don't know if it did, but if that's what happened, or if I had anything to do with any of that, then it was all worth it. <laughs>